Business intelligence is a set of processes and techniques to analyze raw data and extract information that helps drive business decisions. It helps you keep track of business data and draw valuable insights. There are several tools that play a key role in business intelligence. Some of the popular tools are Power BI, Tableau, and ClickView. Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial on what is Power BI. In this video, you will learn why Power BI is needed, what is Power BI, the various features of Power BI, and the different components of Power BI. Later, you will look at the architecture of Power BI, what Power BI service is, and how to create a Power BI dashboard. Finally, you will understand a case study on Meyer and do a demo using Power BI. Now let's understand why Power BI is needed. First, Power BI has the ability to access vast volumes of data from multiple sources. It allows you to view, analyze, and visualize huge quantities of data that cannot be opened in Excel. Some of the important data sources available in Power BI are Excel, CSV, XML, JSON, PDF, etc. Second, Power BI provides an easy to use drag and drop tool with features and functionalities that allow you to copy all formatting across similar visualizations. Power BI has exceptional integration with Excel. It helps you gather, analyze, publish, and share Excel business data. Power BI helps to accelerate big data preparation with Azure. Using Power BI with Azure allows you to analyze and share vast volumes of data. Azure Data Lake can reduce the time it takes to get insights and increase collaboration between business analysts, data engineers, and data scientists. Power BI allows you to get insights from data and turn insights into actions to take data-driven business decisions. Finally, Power BI allows you to perform real-time stream analytics. It fetches data from multiple sensors and social media sources to get access to real-time analytics, so you are always ready to make business decisions. Now let's see what Power BI is. Power BI is a business analytics service provided by Microsoft that lets you visualize your data and share insights. It converts data from different sources to build interactive dashboards and BI reports. As you can see, we have an Excel data about sales. Using this data, Power BI helps you build different charts and graphs to visualize the data. Now that we have understood what Power BI is, let us look at the important features of Power BI. First is Power BI Desktop. Power BI Desktop is a free software that you can download and it allows you to build reports by accessing data easily. For using Power BI Desktop, you do not need advanced report designing or query skills to build a report. Second, as already discussed, Power BI supports stream analytics. From factory sensors to social media sources, Power BI assists in real-time analytics to make timely decisions. Third, support for multiple data sources is one of the major features of Power BI. You can access various sources of data such as Excel, CSV, SQL Server, web files, etc. to create interactive visualizations. And finally, custom visualization. Custom visualization is another vital feature of Power BI. While dealing with complex data, Power BI's default standard might not be enough in some cases. In that case, you can access the custom library of visualization that meets your needs. Let us jump into discussing the various components of Power BI. As you can see, there are six major components of Power BI. Now let's discuss them one by one. First is Power Query. Power Query is the data transformation and mass-up engine. It enables you to discover, connect, combine and refine data sources to meet your analysis need. It can be downloaded as an add-in for Excel or can be used as part of Power BI Desktop. Second, we have Power Pivot. Power Pivot is a data modeling technology that lets you create data models. It also allows you to establish relationships and create calculations. It uses Data Analysis Expression Language or DAX to model simple and complex data. Third, we have Power View. Power View is a technology that is available in Excel, SharePoint, SQL Server and Power BI. It lets you create interactive charts, graphs, maps and other visuals that brings your data to life. Next, we have Power Map. Microsoft's Power Map for Excel and Power BI is a 3D data visualization tool that lets you map your data and plot more than a million rows of data visually on Bing Maps in 3D format from an Excel table or data model in Excel. Then we have Power BI Desktop. Power BI Desktop is a development tool for Power Query Power Pivot and Power View. With Power BI Desktop, you have everything under the same solution and it is easier to develop BI and data analysis experience. Finally, we have Power Q&A. The Q&A feature in Power BI lets you explore your data in your own words. It is the fastest way to get an answer from your data using natural language. An example could be, what was the total sales last year? Once you have built your data model and deployed that into Power BI website, then you can ask questions and get answers easily. Now, 
Let's see what Power BI service is. Power BI service is the software as a service part of Power BI. It is also referred as Power BI Online. To access Power BI service, you need to log into app.powerbi.com. Now let me show you that. I'll go to Google, I'll open a new tab and search for app.powerbi.com. It's loading. Now this is how the home page of Power BI service looks like. I have created some dashboards on it. First, you need to log into app.powerbi service. You can see I am logged in. Now under my workspace, if I go to dashboard, here I have created a finance dashboard. You can see the different charts and graphs I have prepared and pinned it to the dashboard. So Power BI service allows you to connect to your data, create reports and dashboards, and you can also ask questions to your data. Now, as you can see in this dashboard, we have created some charts and graphs. So this is a tree map, there's a pie chart, there's a bar graph. Below you can see there are line charts and donor charts. It tells you the total sales that were made, the total number of units sold, the sales by product, sales by country, sales by segment and lots more. One of the key features of Power BI is creating dashboards from multiple reports and datasets. Power BI dashboard is a single page visualization to tell a story. The visualizations on a dashboard are generated from multiple reports and each report is based on one dataset. A single page dashboard is known as a canvas. The visualizations you see on the dashboard are called tiles. These tiles are pinned to the dashboard by report designers. Now let me go back to my dashboard. So this is called a canvas and each of these are called tiles. So on the top you can see we have three tiles. Now let's understand how to create and publish reports in Power BI dashboards. Power BI allows you to create different reports on Power BI desktop. These reports can be published on the Power BI dashboard using Power BI service. Here, you can see there is a Power BI report created on Power BI desktop. If you click on publish, it will take you to the Power BI service where you can build a dashboard. Here is the button for Power BI publish. Once you click on Power BI publish, it will take you to the dashboard. So this is a single page Power BI dashboard on Power BI service. Now, let's understand the Power BI architecture. Power BI architecture is a service built on top of Azure. There are multiple data sources that Power BI can connect to. Power BI Desktop allows you to create reports and data visualizations on the dataset. Power BI Gateway is connected to on-premise data sources to get continuous data for reporting and analytics. Power BI services are basically the cloud services that are used to publish Power BI reports and data visualizations. Using Power BI mobile apps, you can stay connected to their data from anywhere. Power BI apps are available for Windows, iOS and Android platforms. Now, let's look at a case study on how Meyer, which is one of United States largest supermarket chains, used Power BI to solve its business problems. Initially, Meyer had become dependent on its IT organization to extract insights from its data. It was time consuming and inefficient as you had to wait for IT to build every report. Meyer was unable to perform ad hoc and real time analysis easily. So what Meyer did was, it connected Power BI to an on-premises SQL Server Analysis Services cube. This allowed them to refresh 20 billion rows of data in near real time. With Power BI, teams can now pull in the data faster and perform real time analysis to derive insights from data. A bakery department inside Meyer used Power BI to compare its sales with regional performance. They analyzed where Meyer was behind the regional trends, focused on the problem and created a solution. With Power BI, they can now drill down into hourly sales and send out a sales flash to 800 Meyer business leaders. So Power BI enabled them to standardize data sources and empower store directors and team leaders to develop and track their data to ensure what they can improve. Now, let's do some practical hands-on demo with Power BI. So this is how the Power BI desktop interface looks like. On the left, you have the report view, the data view, and the model view. The report view is where you visualize your data with different charts and graphs to build reports. The data view allows you to view the whole data while the model view is where you check if there are any relationship between the tables. On the right, you can see the different visualizations that you can build. We'll quickly run through all of these in our demo. So here you can see there's a finance sample data that will help you draw insights about the sale of products in different countries. We will create a report to visualize different charts and graphs and analyze those sales. So let me go to my Power BI desktop. First, we'll import our data. So let me go to our Get Data tab and choose Excel as my data source. I click on Excel. So here is our finance sample data. We'll select sheet 1. You can see the data here. Click on it and then select load. 
this might take some time to load the data. Now if I go to my data tab, you can see the entire data set. It has fields such as segment, country in which the sales was made, the name of the product, the unit sold and the sales price and many more. Let's start building our report now. I'll go to my report view. So first let me create a text box. Let me resize it. Let me name it as finance dashboard. We'll increase the size of the text. We'll use font consolus, center it. We'll also add a background to this. We use blue color, change it to white and increase the size. Now let me first show you how you can create a matrix. I'll go to visualizations and click on matrix. Let me resize it. From the datasheet tab, I'll select sales and drag on to values. So you can see the total number of sales that were made. Now let me do some formatting. So I'll go to the format tab, click on column headers. Let's add a background color and let me increase the text size to 20. Similarly, under values, we'll increase the size of the text to 20 as well. We can also click on border and choose the color of the border. We just take as, let it be black. So this is a simple matrix that we created which shows the total number of sales that were made. Similarly, let me choose matrix once again. Now we'll drag on the unit sold onto values. We'll continue with the same drill under column headers. We'll add a background. This time let's choose some other color and under values, let's increase the size of the text to 20. Even for the column headers, let's increase the size of the text to 20. Again, we'll switch on border. We we'll resize a bit. So here we have two matrix created for our report. The first matrix shows us the total sales that were made. The second matrix shows you the total units that were sold. Now let's move ahead and create a simple bar chart. So under visualization, I click on clustered column chart. Under this, we'll drag the date column onto axis and the sales onto value. Let me expand it. So it shows you the sales by year. This is the sales that were made in 2013 and this shows you the sales that were made in 2014. Now there's a drill down option which gives you more granularity. This depicts the sales by quarter. If I drill down further, you can see this shows you the sales by month. Also, you have some options like sort by and sort by sales. So you can see October month made the highest number of sales. Moving ahead, let me now create a pie chart where we will see the sales by different segments. Under visualization, I'll click on pie chart. Let me first resize it. Here, I'll drag the segment column onto the legend and the sales column onto the values. As you can see, we have the sales made by different segments. Government segment made the highest number of sales with 44.22%. Now let me add a border to both the visualization. I'll click on the pie chart and go to the format tab. I'll switch on the border. Similarly, for the clustered column chart, I'll go to the format tab and click on border. Now let me resize a bit. All right. Next, we'll create a very simple table that will depict the total sales made by each product. So under visualizations, I click on table. Let me bring this below. So from the data sheet, I'll first drag product onto values. You can see the different products and then sales just below it. So this depicts the total sales that were made by each product. And finally, it displays the total value of the sales that were made. This is same as the one shown here. Now let's do some formatting. Under format tab, I'll go to values and increase the text size to 15. Let me expand it. Also, under column headers, I'll increase the text size to 15. Then let me go and add a border. Now let me create a map that will show you the sales that were made by each country. So first, let me create a new page and under visualization, I'll click on map. Now I'll drag the country column onto location. So you can see we have our map ready and we'll drag sales onto size. You can see the different countries and the sales that they made. If I move the map, 
can see the sales made in the Europe region. Let me resize it. I'll add a border to this. Now let me go ahead and create a donut chart that will show you the profit by each segment. Under visualizations, I'll click on donut chart. I'll move this to the top. Now from the data sheet, I'll add profit onto the values and segment onto the legend. If I expand this, you can see government segment made the highest amount of profit with 65.04%. Let me resize this and we'll add a border. Okay, in the final visualization, I'll show you how to create a tree map. This tree map will tell you the total amount of sales made by each product. So under visualizations, I'll click on the tree map. Let me expand it. I'll drag sales onto values and product onto group. So here you can see our tree map and the sales made by each product. You can see now we have our report ready. We have created two separate canvas to visualize our data. Now, if you want to change the color of these bars, you can simply go to the format tab and under data colors, you can choose whichever color you want. In Power BI desktop, you have an option to switch your theme. This will make your dashboard or the report look more attractive. So now we are under the default mode. Let's try out different themes. That's frontier, it's temperature, it's solar, which is a little yellowish. The one which I like is tidal. I hope this was helpful in making you understand the basics of Power BI and how it works. You learned the various features and the components of Power BI and looked at the architecture of Power BI. Finally, you saw a demo to create a report using finance data set. Thank you and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.